Okay, so the sea urchins can make a great addition to the home aquarium, but there's a few things you need to bear in mind. One of which is that they use salt water instead of blood, so when you're transferring them from one aquarium to another, it's the equivalent of giving them a full blood transfusion. So when you do that, it's important you acclimatise them really slowly, and to find out how to do that, watch our other video on acclimatising inverts. Once they're in an aquarium, then they'll trundle around, eat loads of algae, and they're generally a good thing. However, sea urchins can get very large. Some of them, the long spine black sea urchins, can get to a full cross, about the size of a football. And also, each urchins can be quite clumsy, so they knock a lot of stuff over as well. Also, bear in mind that things uh, like uh, the spinier sea urchins, like the long spines and tuxedos, the spines are actually venomous, and the spines remain venomous for over an hour or so after they've detached from the animal. So be very careful if you're raking through the sand or anything like that, because if you do get a spine stuck in your finger, it can be very painful and the spines are exceptionally brittle. So when you pull them out, you have to be very careful not to snap the spine off inside you as well. As with all marine venoms, they can be broken down with heat, so if you do get stung, uh, use a hairdryer on the wound and that will break the venom down and reduce the pain and swelling a little bit. If you do get a spine snapped off inside you, then it's probably best to just pop along to a and E and get them to remove it for you. Sea urchins are absolutely fantastic grazers, but they do eat not quite a lot of food, so you need a reasonable amount of space to support the urchin in question. Things like tuxedos don't get ever so big, but long spines can need quite a lot of algae. You can also just train them to take nori off a clip, so you can do that instead. You can also check out our other videos on inverts.